What's up guys? Welcome to the Flow T Cast. My name is Steven Maxlow. Today's video, we are going to be looking at Agumon Army with Nokia. Uh, super awesome deck. It's probably my favorite deck in the format. I say that with every single deck that I play, but this one's it. Like this is the pinnacle, pinnacle Digimon because it's Agumon. Like that's it. It's Agumon, the entire line. That's pretty much all your Digimon that you're going to be running and it's red and you know let's go red wings but that's not a big deal if you guys enjoy these deck lists leave a like on the video you know it helps the algorithm out a lot subscribe to the floaty cast if you do enjoy floaty cast content and uh yeah turn that bell on so you know when my videos go up also you can check me out playing these decks on my twitch stream twitch.tv slash floaty cast and uh yeah stop by say hi you know it means a lot but that's not important. What is important, though, is this deck and what makes this deck great. We're going to just go ahead and get into the deck profile here. And first up, we do got to talk about our Digi Eggs, of course. We have four of the Coromon. This Coromon is new from BT5. It lets us, uh, when we swing into something, we can draw one card. Uh, so draw support is always good in every single card game you ever play. Like Pokemon, they're sitting with all that draw support. But this this game, we don't have that kind of draw support for all you Pokemon fans out there like you do in that TCG. So this helps us out a lot. We attack if we have a uh, a Greymon or an Omnimon. Like if this is Digivolved into Greymon and up Greymon, Metal Greymon, Blitz Greymon, Victory Greymon, all those Greymons except for Doru Greymon, uh Dex Doru Greymon and Burning Greymon, those don't count, but the rest of them do. And when you swing into it, you draw one card. And we also have this one's kind of a flex spot here. Gigimon, if your opponent has five or more cards in the trash, you gain 1,000. There's another Coromon out there that if you have four Digi Evolutions, you gain 1,000. But we're opting for this one. I mean, if you don't have it, you can just play that starter deck Coromon. It doesn't really matter. Moving on to the rookies, though, we have the big boy. It's the promo Agumon. Uh, when this Digimon has Greymon in its name, it gains 2,000 DP. Super good. Buff that attack up so you can start uh, surviving through your security checks. And yeah, that's about it. This is like one of the more expensive cards in the set, but uh, it's good. It's really good. I definitely recommend playing these. We also have four Agumon. On play, you can reveal the top three cards of your deck and grab an Omnimon and a Greymon if you find those. Uh, either You can grab one of each um, if you find them in the top three cards of your deck. As I said earlier with the Coromon, this is really good. Uh, it's the on play ability, by the way. But this is a really good draw support as well because you can uh, plus two off of uh, drawing. And then that other card, you can... Uh, cycle it to the bottom of your deck so like it's more like you don't see three like you see three cards but you can get up to two which is really good and then like you if they're all three dead cards you can just move them to the bottom of your deck and get to your combo pieces a lot quicker so this agumon's really good in this deck we also have four of the starter deck uh agumon as well this during your turn this digimon with the inheritable you gain 1000 dp so that's really good like i said buff that Buff that power up a little bit, you know, survive through your security checks and do work. Those are our four ofs. And then we have one copy of this promo Agumon. We do play Nokia in here, obviously. So I know it's a five cost, but with Nokia, you can play it for free. You essentially make this a three cost and you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. So that's pretty good. Like, you know, if you're up against Rookie Rush, you can uh, start... Uh, board controlling a little bit and i mean that's pretty much what it's here for or if you can't play it it still has that free digivolve in the raising area just so you know more agumons and then the last one this is either going to be that rare agumon that can help you find tamers uh but it's not in the mail so right now we're playing agumon expert uh this when you play this one on with nokia or just a three cost you can return one digimon card with agumon in its name from your recycle to your hand so you can, you know, if you're losing Agumons or getting trashed, you, you can essentially just like recycle some of them. Like maybe this one to delete. Again, uh, recycle through your deck and or even build up your DP. So it's really good. I, I like this Agumon Expert. Like I said, it's probably going to be the rare one. 
um that came out i think it's like bt1 or something like that set release one whatever whatever it's called it's probably going to be that one to help us find our tamers but agamon expert's pretty good too moving on to our champions though we have three starter deck graymons that give you security attack plus one plus one on security attacks always good it's also cheap two costs uh to digivolve and uh five costs i'm whatever i mean it's fine so it's pretty good security plus one that that's always good actually and then we got the new guy it's a graymon from bt5 three of those uh you probably could go to four but i got a few tech cards i want to show you guys in a minute um when digivolving if this digimon has agumon and it's digi evolution cards you gain one memory so you digivolve for two right or you can use nokia to digivolve for one but if you digivolve this on top of agumon which is literally all we have so if you're digivolving on this you gain a memory so you can essentially digivolve this for free if you want to which is really nice and then its security effect or inheritable effect is while this Digimon has Agumon or Greymon, uh, it gains 2000 DP. So like if you go into Metal Greymon, you're on um, you're on the promo Agumon. I'm going to find him real quick. You're on this guy. That's 2000. And then 2000. Or if you go into like Victory Greymon or something, you could really have a big... Uh, like a big Digimon at like ultimate level or even mega level. So we're building up DP so we can survive multiple attacks on our or security checks, which is always nice. And then we have, this is my tech card. You could probably go 4-4 four, four on that if you wanted to, but we play the two Geo Greymons just in case we're up against like rookie rushes or anything that's like, or Lord Nightmon that spans rookies a lot or level threes. You, uh, during your main, what's nice about this is like some Digiburst, you have to do it. You don't have to do this. All right. But if you can Digivolve into G uh, Geo Greymon and you need to, you can just Digiburst 2 and delete somebody with 4,000 DP or less. So it's always nice to have that, especially with this Agumon. So, like, you can go something like, for example, you could Digiburst with that pop this Agumon, and then you can play this one down and then go bring this back, you know? You have recyclability. Maybe, like, if you're going, like, a heavier count of this, you might want to play a couple of these, but I think this is fine. You don't need to recycle that many Agumons. So, it's pretty good. The Digiburst is really good, honestly. And then we have, of course, our blockers. We have Monochromon, the 6-drop 1K blocker. Uh, super good. Just not against um not against Shoutmon. If Shoutmon becomes a problem, we might do a two two split and put Cordramon in here if we have to. Just so we can have our blocker survive. That's actually not a bad idea now that I think about it. Alright, moving on to our ultimates. They're very simple. First things first, I'm a cheap boy. So I do not have secret rare metal Greymons. What I do have is a starter one. And it's to me, it's not even that bad either. Like the Metal Greymon gets security plus three, but you lose five memory when you attack. But you also gain 3,000 DP with that. This, however, if you get blocked by a blocker, you gain three memory, which is always nice. You could probably go 2-2 two, two split, honestly, with Secret Rare Metal Greymon. But, like, if you don't have those Secret Rare Metal Greymons, you can just go four, right? You can play these. These are just as fine. Because the big thing we want to do with these is get into him. And that's uh, Metal Greymon Alterus mode. And I say you want to get into him because, yes, you can digivolve this onto a Dr uh, Greymon. But that's a three cost. You can digivolve this onto a uh, as a one cost. And then if this is digivolved from, onto a Metal Greymon, you can use its effect, which deletes anything with uh, one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. So we have a lot of fourth, like trashing digimons on your opponent's side it's so like we have rookie rush hate here pretty much you got the geo graymon is a thing you got this guy we have another digimon i'm going to talk about later we have a few things we have that agumon we have a few things to deal with uh rookie rush honestly and then it's inheritable it's plus 2000 dp so like i said we're getting fat here you got this guy then you got you got the Greymon, as I told you about earlier, and then you have the Agumon. So if you're up at a War Greymon, Blitz Greymon, Victory Greymon, you see that's 6,000 DP right there. Or plus the Gigimon, if you get that out, 
you have 7,000 DP. So that's a pretty big dude swinging. So that's super nice for sure. Going into our megas, our big beefy boys, the dudes we want to get out. Three Blitz Greymon. Ladies and gentlemen, this card is awesome, especially against Shoutmon decks or anything that builds big Digivolve, uh, Digivolve into big boss monsters. Blitz Greymon is super awesome. And you can honestly play him for cheap with Nokia, and we'll talk about her later. It has piercing, so you can swing into something and then take a security check, which is nice. We're building up beefy dudes with those DP uh, acceleration. And then, like I said, when you Digivolve, you do Digivolve too. So you can really bust their board if you need to. You can even, like, they could have one big fat Shoutmon out, and they've used the attack, so they're like that. So you can go... Uh, Digivolve or D Digivolve and then smack that thing. So, like, I like Blitz Greymon a lot in this deck, uh, especially with all the the beefing we do, all the uh, ramping. It's really good. Another card I really like in this deck is Victory Greymon with that Digiburst. I told you earlier, Geo Greymon doesn't have to Digiburst. This guy does, but he deletes 8,000 DP or less. So, like, last night I was playing against Imperial Dramon on webcam. And they'll get a pure, uh, Pyodramon out, and you can just pop this dude Digiburst and then get rid of their big Pyodramon they're trying to build up if you're in that situation. There's other situations you can get in or that you'll be where doing that 8,000 DP uh, deletion is really good. And I like this card in this deck a lot because of it. And I also like, beyond, once again, I'm a cheap guy, but uh, I like this. Um, I like this card a lot. And he's also one of my favorite Digimons of all time. It's War Greymon, ladies and gentlemen, from the new one. This guy, when Digivolving, if you have Greymon in it or under it, you can delete a blocker. So it's super nice. They're sitting behind a blocker, right? Especially yellow. They like to play blockers a lot. You sit by, you can delete it, and then you can go to town. And then it, as a Mega, it has an inheritable effect. You delete a Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. So more Rookie Rush hate, which is nice. But you do that while you're attacking. So when you attack, you swing in a security, delete a Vmon or whatever, whatever they got on the board, like Rookie Rush or Lord Nightmon, anything like that, you can delete those. And we played two of those, like I said, because this card's pretty good. I know there's a secret rare one that shuts off option cards. That's really good too. Definitely consider, um, not secret rare, super rare. Uh, definitely consider playing that one as well. But I like this guy a lot. I do want to try out though, I do want to try out the uh, the starter deck War Greymon because it has security plus two or plus one for each four you have. And since you can play that extra di Digi Evolution, since this goes right onto a champion or a ultimate as well, you know, you have a better shot at like if you hard play an Agumon and then you got to play a champion and then you can play an ultimate. And then, you know, I, I want to try it for sure. I, I think it's something worth looking at. Rounding out our big boys, though, we have three of the new Blitz Omnimons. I was definitely testing out two of the old ones and one Alter S, but I was in a lot of situations where I had to, uh, where I had to lose my, like, what was I about to say? Like, I had, if I Digivolved into an Omnimon, it was their turn and I didn't get to attack. So this... Could be that extra acceleration and ramp you need to really punish your opponent and put him behind the curve. And it's really good. Also, pretty cheap, if you don't ask me. So, like, that's super good. It also, uh, when you Digivolve, like, if you swing with Blitz Greymon, you can Digivolve and unsuspend them and then use the Blitz. And you can trash a level 6 Digimon if they try to... Uh, you know, delete it with like an effect or something. So that's really good. You can trash a level six and then negate that. So that's really nice as well. And then we have one to round out our big boys here. Let me fix this real quick. To round out our big boys, after I fix this, we have one Omnimon X Antibody, the closer. He's like your game seven World Series closer right here. We play one of them. You can digivolve this onto a Omnimon if you need to. 
and it's a three cost so that's really nice and when you attack you delete one of your one of your opponent's digimon's dp less than or equal to this and like i said we buff this up real good with the all the plus dp uh 2000s and stuff like that. well not really because like those for graymons and this is omnimon so we can buff it up a little bit but 15,000 is nothing to sleep on as far as dp goes so you're pretty much deleting anything when you attack with it and then during your opponent's turn when you're opposing uh opponent's digimon attacks i can trash two uh digimon's two of this digimon's digi evolution and then stop that attack so like it's a negate you can uh, uh it's a deleter and it's an attacker uh an efficient attacker that you can stack security attacks plus security attacks onto it and really punish your opponent when you get this guy out plus it's a cool secret rare i really like this card a lot and you should too play in this deck last but not least the meat and potatoes what makes this deck do what it does well it is my girl the best character in digimon cyber sleuth and probably my favorite tamer on the board it is nokia we run four of them it's like i said it's the meat and potatoes it's three costs when you play this down you get to play an agumon for free so essentially what you could do to start your turn you raise your digimon here which you're gonna digivolve into one agumon you're gonna play this down and get another one out instead of just playing the agumon and its secondary effect is on your main phase you can suspend her and the cost of your graymons and omnimons are minus one so your four drop Omnimon is now three drop and it stacks two drop. Uh, what is it? Four drop, three drop, two drop, one drop. And then if you got all four, you can just play Omnimon for free. Super nice. Why not? So you can do that. And then, like I said, you can just play Omnimons by bringing them out and really conserve memory. And it pairs well with, you can see it on the screen already. To Marcus Damon. Marcus Damon lets you start your turn. If you have two memory or less, you go to three. So you're, these are essentially plus one memories for each one because it reduces the memory cost by one. So it saves you one. So if you got one of these and like a couple of these out, that's essentially six memory. Like this is a five memory package, essentially, because you're up at three plus one plus one. And then that's how much work you can do like that's super good also if you swing with a graymon you gain a memory so this could actually when you attack this could be a plus six package that's really good honestly six memory with this deck every single turn really good now if you got all all four of them out like you're you're chilling so this this is this is what makes this deck work you need this package right here and it's super good. So that's it. That is Agumon Army with Nokia Shuramine. The biggest nostalgia trip deck in the format right now. Because you're just playing Agumons. And everybody, I mean everybody loves Agumon, right? So let me know what you guys think of this deck for sure. I love it. I was having a lot of fun playing it last night on Discord. I'm thinking about taking it to my local tournaments uh, this weekend for sure. Because it's good and I like it. And yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below and what decks you want to see us cover on the Floaty Cast, Guys, and as always, make sure you like and subscribe to these videos and turn the bell on so you know when my videos go up and definitely follow me on Twitch as well. That means a lot. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.